Welcome back guys. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer. Uh, this channel is mostly about makeup, makeup products, skincare, because that is my life. I love it. Uh, today, this is the first day in a long time I've actually put on, hold on one moment. Okay, sorry, my dog was coughing. I didn't think he was gonna stop. <laughs> All right, so today's the first day that I've actually put on a lot of makeup, like a full face of makeup. I didn't do it in, I did a very simple eye look. I have used a pen. This is the second time I've used a liquid liner pen in a long time. I do really like this because I have worn it once before. Um, maybe like last week it's midnight black it does get pretty black it's easy to go on I don't know I've enjoyed it considering it's been about 20 years since I've actually used a liquid pen <laughs> okay so I have digressed um, I have been away for a while because everything that would I put on my skin would sting and it wasn't the actual products come to find out it's ragweed for my face and I think I'm allergic to sugar alternatives like stevia and stuff like that because I was drinking this tea that had it in it and I just and all my neck and everything just flamed up like it didn't get red well right here got red but really right here it was just itchy and scratchy and it just every time you touch it it just stinks so today I didn't drink anything and so far no problem so I really feel like it was tea and the ragweed outside so Yay. I thought it was bread and not that I eat a lot of bread, but I thought, man, how am I going to eat sandwiches? I'm sure there's a good alternative, but anyway, I digressed. So most of my face today consists of Lime Life, which most of you who know me, I have decided to start selling that stuff. I absolutely love it because when I first heard about it, I was like, what makes this professional? And... I was like, anybody can say anything's professional. Oh my god. No. Okay, so the liquid liner I was just talking about stays all day. It stays black all day. It doesn't fade. It's easy for me to work over my wrinkles. I wore it with no primer. It did not bleed. did not run. It was fantastic. I loved it. They have the translucent powder. Like this. Normally I would call that an HD powder, but they call it a translucent powder. I love it. It came with this little brush, natural hairs. They don't irritate my skin. Most natural hairs do irritate my skin. Um, the whole, wait, hold on. I'm gonna go over the mascara first. The mascara, it is a fiber mascara, but they're not the crappy fat fibers that you get that fall off on your, in your eye during the day. No, this is fantastic. I have absolutely loved it. It does not pull out too much product, so you're not wasting product. It's got a medium size applicator, which I like. A lot of times I do wear false lashes. So, I mean, it's good underneath it, and it's great by itself. I love it. But for me, right now, from everything I've tried, the Holy Grail product is the, the first base makeup primer. It's a spray. And I really wasn't sure about it. The second one was the Lime Life setting spray. And the setting spray is supposed to last 16 hours. I put it on the other day. I was gone for five hours. Nothing was on my mask. Nothing, nothing moved out of place. It kept it fresh and locked in and I loved it. So now today I'm going to try it with um, and a full shift of work where it's really hot. I'm wondering also if my work shirt is what's causing me problems too. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll see. So that I, I loved, oh this, oh my God. <laughs> this is hands down the best primer and setting spray I've ever laid my hands on. And I've been in this business for a long time. And I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get it. At least check out the pricing Oh my, I had no reactions to anything I used either, which is really good because my skin's super finicky. But if you don't get anything else from this, you need to get that primer and setting spray because it will lock that stuff down fast. And the next we have the Lime Life 
um, perfect lip gloss. I'm not a huge fan of the applicator. For some reason, I don't like these. I don't know why. I do love the gloss. It smells like chocolate and vanilla. I love it, love it, love it. And it's bedazzled. But I'm not big on fancy, fancy packaging, but I thought this was cute. All right, so let's get into today's video now that I have derailed into everything on my face. As you all know, Clarisonic has gone out of business and I was a little concerned. I do have some generic brush heads that fit the Clarisonic. I have two. I have a really old one, um, the Aria. And then I have the new one, the Mia Smart 2 with the attachment heads. I do have the makeup brush head and then the gentle eye massage, which is what I mostly use it for. And with allergies, I have not been able to use an eye cream in like two weeks. This was terrible. So, oh, oh, that was, my eyes were suffering. So that's what I used that for. And I was like, okay, so really what if people stop making the generic brush ads or what if they don't work good enough? I have used one before and it does okay. But Clarisonic's better. Uh, Clarisonic is better. However, they have just, they stopped. And in case you're wondering why Clarisonic went out of business it was because it was owned by Revlon and they felt like they were the redheaded stepchild basically they were it was they were wasting their time so they just sold or got rid of that part so that's why they went out of business so I started looking around online for different um, options for you know a face cleaning tool because I love to use them those are my favorite like I just I can't use my hands anymore unless I have a real issue with my skin I will use a tool and the first one I talk about and I think I've talked about it before in another video is the Foreo this is the Fofo I think but it's got these little dots back here. They sensor, you download the app, you can measure your skin. It'll tell you like what you're dehydrating, what your skin age is. They will give you a skin, like a face washing routine for it. It's got bigger ones right up here for the nose and tiny ones. These are really soft. These have a 8,000 per minute pulsations, which I, when I, I used this for two weeks and I loved it. It was good, but I still wanted to see what was out there. So, and I'm not used to holding it in my hand like that. That was kind of small. So that was the only downfall for me. The next thing I went was to the Vanity Planet. Uh, a lot of people were talking about this. I cannot remember. I don't know how to say the name of it. It was some weird funky name, but it's like this. It's got a it's got a medium weight to it. It comes with three different brush heads. It comes with the daily, the exfoliating, and I don't know if y'all can see it. The um, This is a silicone brush head, and that's what I really used on that. I didn't use so much because I've been told that the brush can tend to leave little tears in the skin, but I never really felt like, I feel like my scrubs that I use once a week were what was causing my busted blood vessels on the sink. This is battery operated. I believe this is where right now is on sale for 60 bucks. So you just take the handle and you pull it off and you've got two batteries in it. I do use a toothbrush from here there and I like it a lot. It's got a low and it's got a high. So the difference between this and the Clarisonic, the Clarisonic just kind of pulsates. This one actually spins. I did like this, but I wasn't sure if it was irritating my skin because that's about the time when my skin started stinging and I didn't realize it was mostly allergies that was causing that problem. So I do, this did pull out dirt. You can see it. It did clean really well. It's, everybody that has used this loves it. I really... Ooh, that's really soft you know what I take that back this brush head is super soft there's it's probably not gonna tear your skin it is super soft the exfoliating one is a little bit stiffer but then this I use the silicone and I enjoyed that as well but um, so because I thought it was this I went ahead and got a different one 
and this one was like $200, but they had a deal like they would give you like 40% off, I think, if you took a picture of your Clarisonic and gave them a try. So I really got it for like, I want to say it was like $130. It was a $200. Thing. This is from PMD. This is similar to the Foreo. Uh, these are not near as soft, but you notice it's got the top bristles. This has 7,000 pulsations a minute. Uh, I love the fact that it has a handle. The charging is right down here, and this is made to sit flat. So you don't need a stand. Vanity Planet, you need a stand. I... I don't know about the Foreo. I, I always kept it on top of something, but it doesn't really have anything to hold it either. So, but this was the PMD Clean Silver, and it's got this silver um, on the back. But you push it, leave it on about 40 seconds. This heats up, so whenever you're doing your serums, you can take it and you can um, really work those, those serums into your skin with the heat, opens it up, gets right in. And then they've got different pulsations, so you've got the normal, the faster speed and these are the anti-aging <laughs> this is it's going mm, 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 mm. and then it's got a different one which is the advanced oh, oh anti-aging speed on it and then you would do that but you would take the silver part and you would just go well I did that for about a week and then when my skin was still irritated I wasn't sure if it was this when I was like, it was this still stinging, I was like, it had to be something else. So then I figured out. So now I've got all these cleaning tools <laughs> and I'm probably, I thought I was going to sell it, but I think I'll just keep it for myself just to switch it up a little bit. But I have thoroughly enjoyed this one. I quit when my face was still stinging and I was having problems. I quit using this side so much and just this on a very gentle level. And it has really cut it does it pulls out all the all the dirt and oil out of your skin you wouldn't think that it does but it does and I've loved it so I've been using this daily the charger is just a plug-in you leave it flat and you it doesn't take very long to completely charge up I want to say it lasts about two weeks before you have to charge up the battery but other than that I love that I love the fact that it's got this and that on it again it's the PMD clean um, they have some that are like a hundred dollars they don't really have this on the back they have one that's rose quartz that's a little less expensive but they generally start at $99 so if you want something to clean your face that's not expensive you've got the vanity planet option <laughs> and then their your higher end is going to be the PMD or the Foreo they're about the same my little fofo is I believe like $89 you can get that at Sephora or Ulta or even on their website Amazon a lot of people are buying stuff on Amazon but stuff like that I like to buy directly from the website because sometimes on Amazon you don't know if it's actually what you're getting so all right with that being said that is really all I had today I was just talking about my new face products which I'm absolutely in love so I'm gonna take a picture now and then I'm gonna update y'all with a little film when I get done with work today to let y'all see it. But I'm gonna link all these products down below and where you can find them. And you can make the choice for yourself personally. I really, I don't have a problem with all three of them. I really feel like I just got something happened. That I think them, honestly, it's just my, I could be totally wrong. But I feel like spending so much time in the mask made me more susceptible to certain things. Because you can't be breathing, you're not breathing normal. Nobody, the healthy become unhealthy wearing those stupid masks. So my guess is it probably made me more susceptible to allergies and stuff like that. That's just my guess. <laughs> that is just my guess. Anyway. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you. Um, if you are subscribed, make sure that you're ringing the bell to get your notifications. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys in my next video.